What's going on, Pokemon trainers? You have Trainer Connor, and it's time for another Pokemon Story Shield Wi Fi Bell video. Enjoy! So we're back again with the same team as last video. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out on my YouTube page or in the description as there will be a link for you to access it. Nothing's changed on my end, but my opponent is what's changed in this fight today. So you see, my opponent has a Blossom, Ninetales, Alakazam, Skarmory, Nilo King, and Dragonite. It's possible that it's a Sun King, but I wouldn't say it's a full-on Sun King. It's a partial Sun King if you get my drift. Uh, let's go over my team real quickly here before we get into the match itself. It shouldn't take you very long. It shouldn't take me very long to explain. So we have a Scarfed Blaziken with Blaze. I didn't realize that Speed Boost was also OU. I'll have to train another Blaziken up just so I can recoup my losses there. But hey, it is fine to make up for it. We have a Choice Scarf on that stuff. Next up, we have Starlight. Let's scar me. A defensive Starmie is also shiny, which is hecka cool because I like shiny Starmie. Third up, we have Steelhead, the Agron. I got this from a raid. Decided to make it a rock polish set with Life Orb. And then the fourth member of the squad is our secondary mod, as I picked my selection there, is Landorus. And Landorus is our main mod that I just wanted to create the same around. Defensive Landorus is awesome, guys. Of course, I've seen Sword Stance with it, but that's, you know, that's kind of used a lot. So, Defensive Landorus is where we're going to be using him for. And then fifth, we have Shroomhead. This Pokemon is amazing. Like, I have two different Amoongus. One is Pyramidia, and the other one is Shroomhead, as you see here. Especially defensive. And last but not least, the Pokemon that I'm going to be starting out is going to be Foxy the Zoroark. Why not, right? Because we have to fool my opponent here. All right, let's jump right into the battle. I want to say thank you to my opponent for challenging me. All of you that challenged me in the past. My goodness, you guys are great battlers. And I just, I love it, you know? Even though it's harder to battle people nowadays, it's just awesome to just hook up online and just get a battle going, you know? So my opponent starts off with nine tails, a shiny, beautiful nine tails there. Not gonna lie. And we got to start with Zoroark disguised as Agron. And I have taunt on this. So I go for it, understanding that most nine tails end up going for nasty plot, as I've seen many times before. And then we're gonna go for knockoff to get rid of an item. I was hoping it was a focus a focus sash, but it's actually a heat rock. However, it's going to activate uh, still because I, even though it's knocked away, the sun is going to be out for, uh, I want to say, seven more times now. And uh, the fire blast, even though it's in the sun, yeah, it's going to blow Zoroark away. It would be nice to have him around still, just for fun. But that's okay. We have Short Scarf Boys that come out here. Getting ready to demolish the Nine Tails in the close combat. What sucks though is that I am locked in on close combat, and I think my opponent knows this as Boozman goes into Blossom. So I go into Shroom Head, expecting something like a Sweet Powder or something like that. So we go into Shroom Head, and uh, we see Strength Sap, which isn't going to matter really. And I was expecting him to switch out. Uh, yeah, because what can, aside from Hidden Power, which is not in the game at all, there's really nothing that Blossom can do against the moon is. So I, I, I just go for Sludge Bomb to try to catch something on the Switch. However, I kind of forgot about Skarmory, and I forgot to take a picture before the battle started, so that's a little bit on my end. Uh, there, as far as, you know, faults go, but, you know, I make a few mistakes this battle, I know, I you gonna see it. Sometimes you'll see a couple of mistakes I don't even mention. Yeah, but still, this is a great battle. So I go for a Stun Spore as he goes for the Drill Pack. And even though I'm especially inclined, Drill Pack actually doesn't do that much damage. And that's because I have max HP on this Amoongus. So I switch out, 
and go into Steelhead. And that was actually a better play than going to Blaze again, because Blaze again is part flying, or rather fighting. God. So, yes, Drillpack does not do anything, and I expected him to switch out. Because, like, okay, so that guy, and Drillpack didn't do anything, but he just stays there and goes for Stealth Ops, and I'm like, ah. You know, that sucks. I do have a rapid spinner, but spoilers, I don't end up using rapid spin this battle. That's okay. Now he finally decides to switch out into Dragonite, which I go for a head smash here, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I wonder if I can KO this thing. If he has a multi skill, it really doesn't matter because I knocked him out. Either he doesn't have multi skill, or it's just head smash that powerful. Yeah. It's life orb and stab and whatnot. Super effective. So we knock out Dragonite, which is awesome. Congratulations. Now, here comes Shovel. If you thought Mega Alkazam is powerful, well, check this out. Because we see Guzman going for the... I don't, I don't want to say Mega Evolution because it's in my head right now. But it's a Dynamax Alkazam, which... Uh, that's not good. I was hoping I could live, well I am faster and of course the rock polish helped me there. I was hoping for a flinch, actually, but he just goes for the max knuckle, which I'm assuming that's focus blast, if you was just a regular Alakazam in this case, but you know what, it's a Dynamax Alakazam, I'm really salty about that. So Agron goes down and I go into my fastest mod, which is Lysakin, Choice Scarf, however, it's not going to really matter because I want to go for my own Dynamax, which, you know, I think that's a mistake because I don't know if the Choice Scarf comes into play along with the Dynamax, so if I just like went for the, you know, Close Combat or a Fire Punch, it would be better actually to go for Fire Punch and Close Combat anyway, but yeah, if I just stay with my original plan of going for the Fire Punch instead of Dynamaxing, I probably would have outspent him. But you never know. So that's another mistake that I had this battle. Like I said, I have a couple more, which you'll see. But yeah, because he is faster, he goes for the Mindstorm and just knocks me right out. Very unfortunate. Next up, I go in Golanderous, trying to lower his attack. But like, we need an ability that lowers special attack. Because man, this Pokemon is very, very powerful. So he goes for yet another Mindstorm, and that's also going to knock out Landorus, which is pretty unfortunate. I was going to go for a knockoff and just get rid of that Pokemon. But at this point, I mean, I just have like, what, three Pokemon left or two? We're going to Starmie, Starlet. At this point, he is going to go to the regular form. He's all done Dynamaxing, which really put a hurting. Now here he goes for Shadow Ball, and I was like, yeah, maybe I could live it, because yeah, it is a defensive Starmie, but, you know, I barely survive, I go for Scald, and we end up knocking out Alakazam finally, so Alakazam did a lot of work in this battle, I'm not gonna lie. Congratulations, my friend, you just really ruined my plan of really showcasing this team, especially Landorus, which didn't do anything. Fortunately, though, I am faster than Neo King, I don't know if it was Choice Scarf or Life Orb, but, you know, most of them are Life Orb, Sheer Force, so we just go for Psychic and knock him out. Now here's where I make a huge mistake, probably the hugest one in this entire match. Go for Thunder Wave and I miss, which is Assault to Injury. Had I swim from the Psychic, I would have probably locked out the Go Awesome, because Starmie is pretty powerful, right? Yeah, so because he went for the Gig Gig Drain and I missed the Thunder Wave, he's gonna get a lot of HP back. And at this point, I really didn't have anything. Because he has just the Blossom and Skarmory, which this is my last Pokemon. Yeah, you can probably tell that this match is over. Because of those little mistakes I created for myself. Like, yeah, I could, I could blame a few things here and there, but at the end of the day, I was the one that made those decisions which resulted in what you see here. I will fast forward this most likely, if not, then I apologize. But essentially, I just try going for the Giga Drain and I go for, or he goes for the Drill Peck a bunch of times until he knocks me out. But 
Regardless, this was a great battle. I'm going to fall to my opponent, Guzman, 2-0 or 6-4 if you want to put it that way. And as this goes on, I'm going to say happy holidays to all of you and for those who are, you know, ending school because of the uh, holidays. Enjoy your time off, and I will, as I'm wrapping up my finals, wish me luck on everything going forward. Starting next week or so, I'll be free to post more content, aside from Christmas Day and whatnot, because I'll be busy opening up presents and stuff, but it's going to be a good time for me to post battles, and also we're on lockdown again because of COVID-19, but, you know, so we lose uh, this match to 4 2 well. And I hope you guys enjoy this match. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're bossing your way through. You just happen to be upon this video. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys next week.